Yeah, <clears throat> not not only am I going to start uh, blocking people, well, I'm already starting to block people that troll my posts. Um, I'm going to delete your comments so nobody else sees it. If you just keep doing it, I'm just going to keep doing it too. Uh, don't troll my fucking posts. Period. Uh, um, if you troll me and you uh, are causing problems uh, based on you know your opinion rather than facts, uh, stuff that uh, happened years ago that is not me anymore, uh, or stuff that happens concurrently uh, that is not based in fact and is just a bunch of uh, accusations. Don't troll my posts. I'm going to block you and I'm going to delete your comment. There's no reason to listen to a bunch of assholes like you. Like me or stop talking to me. The golden rule, you religious nutters are out there like causing the biggest problems in the world. Uh, you're out there like uh, saying, oh, I'm a Christian, but you're smoking meth and you're raping little girls and, uh, you know, you're doing all sorts of shit. Oh, I'm a Christian this. Uh, like... Uh, Study after study shows that atheists are more well-mannered. You can Google that shit. I'm not here to do your homework for you. Um, yeah, there are atheists out there that are assholes. That whole crowd that I met in uh, uh, Spokane were violent and rude, and they were pretty much atheists except one guy, but he was also kind of a prick. Uh, all of them expressed violence in some way and advocated for violence in some way. I'm... When it comes to guys like Antifa, guys and girls like Antifa, I understand where they're coming from, and I understand their anger. And I understand, like, setting up a blockade when you're in an area where the police do nothing and just support the violence from the right wing and a bunch of racist propaganda and a bunch of ableist propaganda. I understand why Antifa would be pissed off and, like, setting up barricades with... Uh, armor and stuff and just kind of standing there. I don't really like the whole, like, punching people in the face stuff. I have said that I've been so angry that I would probably want to punch people in the face. Um, that's largely why I uh, don't like hanging out with people much at all because it always comes down to the fact that they're going to express some sort of hostility towards me, towards others, and I'm either going to have to kick them out uh, for being hostile because I, that's my past and I don't really want my past to be my present, or I just have to like deal with their shit and I can't really just deal with their shit. People that provoke others to anger to such an extent that they're going to get violent without signing like a contract or something to play a sport or, you know go to war. I think war is stupid. Uh, it, it solves no problems. Just sit there and play a board game. War is childish. If you can't agree with me that war, war is childish and you're just some bootlicker advocating for war, there's something wrong with your head. You're a sociopath. I, I, I don't want people around me that, that, that charge up my anger so much that I might start advocating for violence. And I have been around people that have charged up my anger so much that I have started advocating for violence. In my past, I have been violent. I have gotten into, not as much as a lot of people, I have punched people and I have slapped people. I have punched a person once in junior high and I slapped my younger brother once in high school. Uh, that was like 20 years ago. I was violent towards my girlfriend eight years ago. When we were in a restaurant and I threw a glass at a wall and stormed off, it is because, and I don't care if you believe me or not, I really don't, but it's because I was drinking six liters of pop a day. Caffeinated beverage. You trying to act like a psychologist or a psychiatrist does not help your case. It just makes you look like some baby boomer with a, an opinion uh, who gives advice that they don't follow. If you're going to give people advice like to be more Christian or to be more loving or to demand evidence, then do the same. I'm not going to prove my case to a bunch of people with 
uh, an asshole attitude towards me if they want to see like me giving food to the homeless or whatever. You don't. You are not owed an explanation or proof of me feeding homeless people food when you are an asshole to me. How is this a difficult concept to understand? Not only that, it is ego maniacal and rude to put a video recording of a poor person eating your food in order to conflate your own ego. Just stop doing that shit. Just go out there and do your Christian duty or whatever the fuck you gotta do and feed the goddamn homeless without trying to get it on pictures or video or stuff to show others how fucking great and cool you are for doing the homelessness deed. If Jesus was around, he'd look at that and shake his bloody ass head because you're trying to get your ego boosted for doing good works. Don't goddamn do that shit. It's rude. Just go out there and do good. And don't come around and try to do bad after you do good. Don't talk to me about how you're a Christian when you annoyed the fuck out of people and you're rude to people and, you know, uh, you, 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 you don't practice loving thy neighbor or loving thy enemy. You're rude to people that aren't Christians. Don't do that shit. That is not Christian behavior. I'm not a Christian myself. I do not believe in God. I do not believe that that, that, that actually happened. There are some words in the Bible that do make sense to me, like being kind to others. But that is common sense, and that is stuff that was taught to me as a child. If you, are, if you are kind to people, you usually get kindness in return. It might take a long-ass motherfucking time for the kindness to return. But that does not mean that you should just stop being kind in order to make a bunch of money and to join the predator class of pedophiles and assholes that run the world in order to turn a profit or even to turn it around and to say, oh, I'm a philanthropist, when you go in and you wreck the economies of the, econ of the, the, economies of the people that you go into and, and serve uh, with your billions of dollars in order to like deforest the land or to like uh, do environmental damage like the, the Microsoft philanthropy does, just stop trying to be a super duper billionaire uh, work on your community, work on yourself, and just, it doesn't matter if you're a Christian or a Muslim or a Jew or an atheist, just do good things because it usually comes back to you. If you hang out with bad people who cause violence and do drugs and are bigots, like most Christians and most religious people, you're going to turn into one of them. So that's why I recluse away from people most of the time is because they're violent and they're rude and they're hostile and that causes me to say things like, oh, we should guillotine the CEOs and nobody takes it as a joke. So I'm not going to do that because uh, whatever, I'm so sick and tired of people just like trying to come into my life and to dredge up the past and tell me to calm down. No, shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Learn what, learn things, you know? Shut the fuck up. Trying to provoke people into violence and to anger is your problem. Shut the fuck up. Leave people alone. Don't advocate things that you would not do. Oh yeah, go out there and, and feed the homeless. Meanwhile, you're sitting there like a fat cat, doing nothing. Your whole like advice of get therapy, it'll help you. I do YouTube videos, okay? I'm not going to sit there in an office with people as they go, mm-hmm, yeah, mm-hmm, yeah, mm-hmm, yeah. And then I come back and I think, what do I need more of? Therapy. It's like religion. The more they shove it on you, the more you need it because it's like a drug and it's like heroin or something. If you just like stop with the religion and stop with the uh, therapy and just were a good person, your life would be a lot better. Just go out there and be, do good things. You don't have to prove it to anybody. Just go out there and do good things. Uh, don't come back and brag about how you're trying to be kind. I probably won't even bring up the fact that I, I feed the homeless anymore uh, because uh, I, it'll just be unhumble. And you'll be there like, are you doing any more? Five dollars a question. Don't ask me questions. If I'm going to go out there and give the FOMO some food or blankets or something because I care about the, uh, there's a bunch of people out there, especially young people and older people, that are out there starving in the street 
when we spent a bunch of money from the dumb Republicans in order to fix a stupid park to beautify and bring people to Spokane when there's homelessness people out there that are causing a problem that you cause by leaving them homeless. That's your shithole problem, Trump. That's your Republicans. Stop trying to be like the Republicans, Democrats. You can't just get more conservative and expect people to like you. Just stop being violent. Stop advocating for the violence. If it's advocated uh, by me, it is sarcasm. Learn to recognize that. So if you troll my posts, I am going to block you. I am not going to spend my life where it's like, oh, I'm at a barbecue and we should just tolerate a bunch of intolerant people coming over to eat the food that I serve. You know what I mean? It, in life, this is an analogy, dorts. If you are in life and you have a, a barbecue and you come and, and, and you're serving people and you're expecting to have a good time, if people come to your barbecue and start causing problems, then you need to kick them out. And if they don't leave, you need to call the police. It doesn't mean you need to kiss their ass. Just call the police and get rid of them. If people don't leave you alone, you get rid of them. L legally, it, 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 there, there's nothing wrong with that. If you are trying to have a good time and people are provoking you towards anger and hostility and greed and asshole behavior... It's your fault if you don't do something about that. So if you troll my posts, I'm going to block you and I'm going to delete your comments. Stop doing it. 